Hey guys, Josh Kane from joshkane.com. This is my fourth video. Um, my last one, I showed you guys how to set the Telnet password on a switch and Telnet in using the router. I'm going to show you how to do pretty much the same thing but on a router. And I'm going to do it from scratch. So. If you're expecting a router god's epic, um, yeah, I'm, um, this isn't going to be it. Um, but uh, you, if you've never seen iOS from the beginning, or you don't have labs, or you don't have simulators, or or the packet tracer, this this is a good way to get exposure to it. Um, but yeah, I definitely definitely try to get your hands on some equipment. And get it working. It's, it's really helps when you do the exams. So anyway, from from nothing, you you can watch me do it. Sorry if this is really boring. This is my first ever one like this. Okay, round three, four. Because I had one and two before, and I deleted them. And it's the same project. That's that doesn't matter. Okay, we'll connect them up. Right now, pretty much turn them all on. So, plugging them in. All right, now I'm going to console. Console in to R3. Never pops up. Nope. Okay, and so I'm going to do the first thing I do every single time. So logging synchronous. Um, so what that does is these log messages created don't pop up when I'm typing. It'll wait for me to stop typing before they pop up otherwise it gets pretty damn annoying right so I don't know how many VTY lines this has so the whole command there will show running configuration and there it is we have five VTY lines one auxiliary and one console and I've enabled logging synchronous on the console line. So if you wanted to do it, if you're logging in via Telnet or via the VTY, you'd have to do the same thing like I did. Go to the line configuration and do the same command. Alright, um, should probably check. I got fast 01 and 00. zero. So no IP address, they shut down, duplexes, auto speeds, auto, that's fine. So back to configuration, global configuration. And we did plug it into fast OO because we'd have nice network diagrams. Um, so the IP address command, let's just do it easy, 10111. Subnet 245.245.0 and we can do this to see what we can do. Secondary makes IP. No, we're fine. Otherwise, carriage return there, the CR. Means what we've typed in is fine. Okay, done. And we better turn it on. And the log message will pop up in a minute telling me. Yep. State's changed up. Uh, line protocol change state there change to up uh, control Z should run again just show you what I did there we go fast over one IP address 1011 the subnet there speed auto duplex auto which is all good. We can also go fast zero zero. So 
fast Ethernet is up, loan protocol is up. And there we have IP and subnet. Um, in the real world, line protocol would be still down because I don't have. I haven't actually turned on fast O O one R four, but um, yeah, I'll forgive it for that. But you know, what can I? I'll show you that. I'll do R four as well. So I'm consoling to R4. So this is my R4. It's going to be the same boring stuff. Just one of my habits. Um, and the IP ten one one two, same subnet. Nope. So. What I want to see in the simulator, I've never really tested this. That shouldn't work. Yep. So periods, five periods, I mean, we didn't get any replies, which is fine. Um, still interested to see, though. Ah, did the long way. Oh god, it looks like it's frozen. I've broken it. Oh, no, here it is. Is up, line protocols up if I check. down, protocol down, so we can see zero zero is connected to zero zero, so yeah, it's not perfect, that's fine, should, should all come up now, there we go, change state to up, line protocol is up, so we wanted to see. Now from here I should be able to ping. Yep. Here's my history. The up arrow. There you go. So we've got connect uh, connectivity. Um Let's turn it to router four. So configure terminal, and we'll configure maybe that was four or uh, five V two I lines, and we'll do password of C sent. Hit enter, and we'll. Do an enable secret as well of CCNA. Enter. And now I will turn it to 10.1.1.2. Go to 4. You know what I forgot? forgot the login command let's just cancel this so you get three goes uh, we want to go back to a line configuration 
login. We could use login local, but uh, login will do just fine. Okay, so let's try that again. What was it? C sent. And I should have CC8. There you go. And how do you know I'm in route of four? Well. I have a habit of pressing Control Z too many times. Let's call it R4. Okay. End. So back on. So obviously that's a good, good reason there as to why we um name. <clears throat> name our routers as well because we both had the, the host name of router it's getting a bit difficult to realise what I was connected to so we'll turn that to 10.1.1.2 which is I'm pointing at the screen which is R4 C sent there we go R4 enable CCN8 we should also there you go so it's exactly the same, guys, um, as you would do a switch. Same command, same everything, and that's what's the brilliant thing about the Cisco iOS. It's pretty much similar stuff for both. Um, I'll be doing more of this stuff in the future. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I was going to add the topology here, but, you know, it's not that hard. You should be able to do this by yourself. So, um, yeah, Google GNS3 and um, good luck and happy studying, guys. Um, thanks, and I'll see you next time.